Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Angela Marie and I'm the Vibrational Alchemist. Today I'm bringing you a pick a pile regarding your gifts. So the question is, where should I focus my gifts and what may be holding me back? So we have a turtle on pile number one. We have a spotted Jasper elephant on pile number two. And we have a hematite elephant on pile number three. Pile number one, pile number two, pile number three. So take a moment and ask your guides and sit quietly to see which pile you're drawn to. Pile number one, pile number two, or pile number three. So take a deep breath in and pause the video if you need to. Alright, so I'm just going to remove pile number three and move pile number two so that we can look at pile number one, the turtle. Alright, pile number one. Where should you focus your gifts and what may be holding you back? Okay, so it looks like you're a caster. So runes, a nice good set of runes or charms or something of that nature would really help you, would really benefit you. You're a natural caster. So that's where you should practice and uh, focus your gifts next. So let's look at what may be holding you back. Finances. Isn't that holding all of us back? <laughs> so finances. Oh, and feeling small. Not tapping into your own power. And the last card is need and necessity. So you not really thinking that you have any gifts is holding you back. Besides finances, you really being able to tap into your gifts is your doubt. It's stopping you. So that's going to be root chakra and solar plexus chakra. So again, let's go over your natural ability and what you should focus on next is casting, casting stones, casting runes, casting charms. And what's keeping you from really shining or really developing that or even taking that on is finances and your doubt in your, in your ability to be able to learn or comprehend. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and we're going to remove those blocks and restrictions. So we're going to clear out the root and we're going to clear out the sacral. Now this is new. I haven't done this before, but hopefully this is something that you guys are open to. And if not, then you can go ahead and, you know, close the video now. But we're going to go ahead and tap into that root. So take a deep breath in. As you're breathing in, pull your breath all the way down to the base of your spine. And see that bright red chakra. And breathe into it. 
And as you breathe out, see it glowing and growing more and more vibrant. So breathe in, pulling your breath all the way down to the base of your spine where your root chakra is located and see the color red and blow into it. Restoring that beautiful, vibrant red color. Perfect. And now we're gonna clear it. Ready? One, two, three. Lum. And again. Lum. And now the second one, the second thing that was holding us back is our disempowered self-doubt here in our solar plexus. Solar plexus is located right in the rib cage area, right above the belly button. So I want you to take a deep breath in. Pull that air down into that area of your solar plexus and see it, that yellow energy, and then breathe into it. Filling it with vibrant yellow energy. And again, breathe in. Pulling the air down into that solar plexus area and breathe out that yellow vibrant energy. Filling that area and seeing that area with our breath fill with yellow vibrant energy. And now we're going to clear any self-doubt that would be holding us back from being able to use our gifts. Ready? Um, Thank you so much, pile number one people. And go out there and get you some charms or get you some stones and make your own runes and start casting. All right, so we're gonna move on to pile number two, which was our spotted Jasper elephant. So. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, so pile number two. You got ornithomancy or the ability to see signs and omens. So let's see what's holding you back from being able to see signs and omens. My cat decided to pull that down. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so it looks like relationships. And you got Venus with the sheriffs. Oh, storm chaser. And see the truth. Okay. So. You're precognitive. That's what your 
your strongest gift is to be a, the ability to be able to see the bigger picture and to be able to see what's coming. However, you have a hard time trusting because the relationships card is all about trust and acceptance. So you have a hard time trusting in your own intuition. And your emotions can sometimes get in the way of you being able to trust your intuition. So you may get anxious or you may feel like you're causing harm when you see those things. But no, your, your innate gift is the ability to see the things that are coming and to warn people. So we need you to see the truth. We need you to not let your emotions get in the way and let your fear rise up, but to really concentrate on the bigger picture because that is your gift. You have the gift to be able to see into the future what is coming for people and that's amazing that is an amazing gift people are always wanting to know like what should i be aware of and you know things like that and you that's where you shine but your own inability to trust in what you're getting is holding you back so let's go ahead and remove that Okay, and so we're going to work on that sacral area. That sacral area is our womb. It's where we create. It's where our inner child resides. And so the other place I want to help you with is your third eye as well. Because I'm feeling like you see these things coming and then you shut it down because your emotions get involved. And so... Let's go ahead and let's clear out the sacral and the third eye. Okay? So, again, the sacral is located in that belly area where our womb is, where we create. So we're going to take a deep breath in, pulling that breath down into our belly and see it sitting there, a bright, vibrant orange, and blow into it. Filling it with new orange energy. And take a deep breath in. Pulling it down into that belly area and really seeing that orange and blowing into it. Perfect. And now we're going to release any blockages or restrictions that are ready to go in that area. So we're going to breathe in. Next, we're going to focus on our third eye. So our third eye is located right between our eyebrows, that eyebrow chakra. So we're going to breathe in and pull that energy right in between our eyebrows and see it a deep violet and then breathe into it, sending new vibrant energy and breathe in pulling our air into that third eye and seeing that deep violet energy and blowing into it perfect guys and now we're going to release any restrictions or blockages that are ready to be released from that area. Ready? 
number two people you guys are the people that are able to predict what's coming for everyone and see those things that we need to be aware of to look at the bigger picture so don't forget your superpower or what you should focus on next is your ability to see omens and what's coming in the future. All right, pile number three, here we go. This is the little guy for pile number three. Let's see, where should you focus your gift? Wow, okay. What's holding you back? Okay. All right, so you should focus next on auras. So you have the innate ability to see energy or feel energy, however it is that you decipher picking up on the aura. It's gonna be through one of your clairs. What's holding you back is your sacral chakra. You got the shipwrecked siren, the jellyfish portal, and embracing spirit. To me, this is talking about your inner child and your imagination. So you have a hard time with embracing the play that comes along with your gift, embracing all of that childlike wonder that brings us into that space where we're able to see energy. Because your innate gift is the ability to see energy, however that shows up for you. Because I'm hearing some of you are like, well, I don't see. You can feel the aura, or you can just know the aura. But your innate ability is to be able to decipher what the aura is. The only thing that's holding you back is your inability to embrace the playful nature that comes with being able to work with energy, to see energy, to feel energy, and to know energy. The jellyfish want you to play. They want you to be able to feel confident in your ability to connect with others. And so let's go ahead and let's clear that sacral area. Let's clear that sacral area so that you can step into your innate ability to be able to work with the aura and if you don't know what the aura is the aura is the the energetic field outside of us it is our spiritual body expanded it is beautiful pieces of ourselves that just emanate off of us. All right, so the sacral. The sacral is located in that belly area, that womb area, that area where our inner child resides. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to breathe into that area. So take a deep breath with me. Pull your breath all the way down into your belly and see that bright, vibrant orange energy and blow into it. (sighs) 
And again, breathe in. Pull that breath down into your belly, into that sacral area and see that orange vibrant energy and blow into it. Perfect. And now we're going to clear that area. Ready? So we're clearing any blocks and restrictions that are ready to be let go in that area so that we can step into our power and our gifts. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much, pile number three. And thank you everyone for being here and watching my channel. And if you resonated with any of this, or if you want more of this, hit that subscribe button, also the bell, and that way we can spend more time together. Thank you so much for being here. I love you, I love you, I love you. Mwah.